you guys welcome back okay so I guess since you clicked on this video you trying to see what your girl been buying trying to be all up in my shopping business okay okay <laughs> is basically my October collective haul. I, is it October? Ooh, child, it's September. I'm trying to hurry and push this year on out. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we in October? No. This is my collective September haul. So this is just stuff that I've been purchasing, accumulating over the last month or so. Um, I still have some stuff that I'm waiting on, but y'all... I, I, I want to start playing with this stuff. I need to put it away. I'm like, my little collective haul box is getting too big, too full. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right in and take a look at this stuff that your girl been buying, okay? This is a no judgment zone, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to start out with some of these palettes, some of these latest palettes that I received just this past week. These are some more Cara Beauty palettes, okay? This is her latest collection. And y'all, I don't even know what the collection for these palettes is. I think it has something to do with party because they all kind of have like party in the name. But these palettes are so freaking pretty. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I went in and scooped them up. This one is called Life of the Fiesta. And do you see the art on here? Their art is just so unique, so beautiful. I love it. These palettes do have mirrors in them, as you can see. But this is what this one looks like. Life of the Fiesta. Colors so beautiful, so rich, so beautifully pigmented, honey. After I used their other palettes that I got, I was just like, yeah, I'll be buying their palettes. Anytime I see palettes that they come out with that I really am interested in, I really don't hesitate. So this one is Before the Party. And look at the art on there. Okay, this one here. You guys know I love this palette, okay? Just beautiful. So, so gorgeous. And these palettes, I think, retail for $25 each. But they went on sale, I think, for like $17 each. And then I had a discount code on top of that. And I think after I bought them, they might have went on sale again for like $14. Bucks. So you can definitely catch these on sale. Now, this one is Flower After Hours. Look at her little bob cut. Isn't that cute? So, so stinking cute. Oh, my gosh. And this is what this palette looks like. So this one has a really eclectic mix of like greens, reds, a little pink and purple in there. You got your warm tones down here, your black and your white. So yeah, this one is a really, really nice combination if you like more of your basic colors and stuff. But yeah, these palettes are so pretty and I love having them in my collection. Next, okay, I blame this on my girl Lily, okay, because in our little chats, <laughs> she be throwing little pictures of palettes in there and I'd be like you know like I don't need that palette but anyway she showed some palettes from Beauty Bay and these are not new but they have gone on sale um here and there really huge huge palettes okay and I couldn't resist I had to grab some okay these were know were these 25 bucks and on sale for 20 honey I don't know I think these went on sale too so this one is the nude 42 shades and this is what this one looks like okay so this is like a really nice just basic palette to have in your collection it's funny because when she showed me this I immediately thought of of course the latest what's his name Jeffree Star <laughs> yeah the latest Jeffree Star palettes and stuff and just how basic they are and everything and I was like you know this is a good staple palette if you want to have something that just has like a bunch of really nice neutrals and you get your excuse the clear plastic and you get your gray tones and stuff in here 
along with the neutrals cool tones warm tones so this is just a really nice big basic palette for anyone who's looking for something like this where one palette does it all okay of course I had to get the colorful one. This one is the bright matte palette though. I think they do have a colorful one that has shimmers in it, but this one is all mattes and I do not mind it one bit. I love me some colorful matte shadows. So this is what this palette looks like. I'll give you a closer look. So it's just, you know, the whole rainbow. You still get a few browns, grays, black look at all these purples who needs all these purples and blues <laughs> i do <laughs> so anyways absolutely gorgeous colorful matte palette you know what i really didn't need to get this one because somewhere in this stack of palettes i actually got the mini size of this already um they do have smaller versions of these palettes if you don't want the huge large one but i wanted this <laughs> So I grabbed this one as well. This one is called Fiery and it's so reminiscent of the Morphe, um, what is it, the 3502 that has just a pop of red up there. So this is an option, you know, if you don't want to buy the Morphe one, but you still kind of want a palette that has a lot of warm tones in it and a pop of red, you know, this is definitely that palette. So. I did pick this one up as well. I don't know you guys, I just, I wanna play around with just some more warm tones and just kinda like some basic type looks. I know I don't need a palette that big to do that. I don't need any of these palettes to do that. <laughs> but I wanted them so I bought them. Now let me quickly just show you the little baby version that I was talking about. So this is the baby version of the Fiery palette which I had already purchased. And like I said, I did not need the big one. I just wanted it. But this is what the baby version looks like. So if you like the color story of the Fiery palette, but you want a smaller, more condensed version, this is one that they have. And like I said, they have these smaller palettes for all of the ones that they have. The colorful ones, the nude one, everything. They have smaller versions. And I think they have one more palette that's even more condensed than this for each color grouping, if that's what you want for your collection. Now this palette here, I've been wanting ever since it came out, but I just would not bite the bullet. This one is the Pat McGrath Blitz Astral Quad Nocturnal Nirvana. So the one with the pretty blues in there. Ah, when it came out, I just could not bring myself to pay the $65 for this little palette okay so um when I saw that it was back my girl Lily was like KK is back and it's on sale I snatched it up so fast so this is what this palette looks like I know you guys have seen it a bazillion times but honey chow these shadows and I definitely am going to swatch these and just check it out i just I haven't been able to bring myself to swatch it yet it's so pretty but it's so so oh it's just gorgeous now this is another palette that i picked up from beauty bay when i was shopping on there for those other large palettes this is a collab palette so this it's called the azure allure eyeshadow palette it's uh, sosu time cle makeup i think yeah you can see that it's a collab palette and when I saw this on the website, I was like, ooh, look at these colors, you guys. Oh my gosh. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so beautiful. I mean, I could just see an eye look with these shades all together. It's so pretty. So I picked that up. Sorry, I don't remember how much that was, but I'm pretty sure it was on sale because typically I buy things on sale. Now this palette, I had been chasing this palette on the Ulta website for I don't know how long. This is the Revolution palette, the blue one, and it's called, it's one of the Forever Flawless palettes. It's called Ice. And I wanted to grab this a long time ago when it first came out, you know, the whole Jeffree Star blue palette dupe situation. But every time I went to buy it, when it was supposedly on sale for $10, it was sold out. So... 
I finally caught it on sale for $10 and it was not sold out. I guess they restocked them. And so I was able to grab it. And so I'm so, so glad I did because now I have this color story in the Revolution palette and I do want to try this out. So yeah, this is what she looks like. Okay, next I have here a new BH Cosmetics palette and it's funny because right before I bought this was when I did that BH Cosmetics why don't I use these palettes video <laughs> and I was like and there you go buying another one right but yo when I saw this I about died yeah it's something about blue for me blue is where it's at okay this is their blueberry muffin palette so cute look at the little muffins on there really adorable and it's just the color story I just really fell for this color story and I think it's because although it's you know like another blue color story it feels kind of more cool tone to me and so it makes it different it gives it a different vibe like these shimmers in here look so so gorgeous and these darker shades and I just the whole palette I'm feeling it I am really really feeling this palette I hate their reflective background because it's like hard to really even see what the palette looks like but it is so so pretty you guys oh my gosh I kind of want to do a swatch party with this palette let me know if you're curious about the swatches on this I'll do a swatch party with it next I picked up a couple of palettes from Peachy Queen actually yeah I'm you know I'd be kind of like iffy on picking up palettes from Peachy Queen and stuff because they'd be having those like spooky witchy like I don't know just themes that I'm not really into <laughs> you know I'm not into all that spooky Halloweeny type stuff but I took a chance with two palettes and I just had to pray and plead the blood of Jesus over them okay <laughs> so yeah but this is not one of them this is from Peachy Queen this is their amethyst palette I'd had my eye on this palette for quite a while it went on sale I don't know it might still be on sale at the time that I'm filming this video for like half price but yeah when it went on sale I was like let me go ahead and scoop that up because it's gorgeous so this is what it looks like this is the amethyst palette very very pretty very pretty I was just telling my girls the other day I think we all kind of feel the same way and we're just like we're at the point where we're sick of the pressed glitter <laughs> we, we have had enough of the pressed glitter in the palettes like we don't want it no more and i'm really ready for them to stop you know at first it was like eh, okay whatever they trying something new but yeah we over the pressed glitter now so I was like can y'all stop please um also from peachy queen i picked up the we're all mad palette so very cute packaging but this is what and there's a mirror in here this is what this palette looks like so a nice little unique combination of shades in here I thought I'd like to have these different colors in my collection. Very pretty. I really, really like this peachy shade and this kind of like minty green. This light blue up here is pretty as well. So, yeah, and their shimmers are usually pretty nice. Pretty nice. And I got two more palettes from Peachy Queen. This one here is the Tarot palette. It says the sun. If you see that here. You know, and like I said, I don't really vibe with all the card reading and all that stuff but the color scheme in this palette <laughs> it just it was so pretty so I just took a chance and bought it there is a mirror in here and these are the shades in this palette very unique very pretty to me I like it I think it's cute and the last palette that I picked up from Peachy Queen, it was like that Ouija board palette. And I'm really, really not into Ouija boards and stuff. But I just had to have it because <laughs> I'm a makeup addict. So I depotted it and <laughs> took it completely out of the packaging. So I don't have anything with the Ouija board and all that stuff on it. So I depotted the shadows and I prayed over them and I feel better about it. <laughs> and so the shadows that I depotted from the... Ouija palette from Peachy, Cre Peachy Queen is right here. So all of these large shadows right here, those are all from that Ouija board palette. So if you're curious about, you know, the shades in there, 
that is what it looks like the large shadows and i just put it into one of my <laughs> one of my um you know singles of palettes so i can still use it but i don't have to have a ouija board all over the place okay now this next palette is from a brand i had never heard of um it's called ditto and it is the hera is this the hera palette and i saw betty jean from butte bean using this palette and i was like oh what is that the palette is so gorgeous now let me see what is the yeah it looks like it's called the Hera palette from ditto and just look at that packaging it's so pretty but this is what this palette looks like there is a mirror in here but look at these colors oh my goodness I don't even know what to say about these colors like what they do to me but it must be something about them being so many primary colors the red the yellow the blue that's just like really appealing to me so beautiful but yeah when I saw her using this I was like uh I want it I think I ordered it immediately when I saw her video so gorgeous so if you're curious about some looks on this check out Butte Bean Betty Jean because she used this palette and it was like so bomb okay okay these next two palettes are new to my collection as well this one you have probably already seen on my channel if you watch my videos regularly this is the Nomad Cartagena Magica palette so pretty I did use this in a video do a look with it swatched it all that good stuff on my channel as well as on my Instagram so if you'd like to see that definitely check that out and I also picked up this what is it called the Marrakesh this is a Marrakesh palette it went on sale and I just had to add it to my collection because I have my eye on it and I kind of like paused on it because it was like okay blues reds browns yellows yada yada but it's something about this palette that is really pretty and it's just really appealing to the eyes I love matte shadows and I really, really like these kind of different grungy type shades in here with the yellows, the reds. It's just, it's a pretty combination to me. So I picked it up, honey. It was on sale. Now these next two palettes are, you know, very hot right now on YouTube and Instagram. This is the collab palette with Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials. Very, very cute most people are familiar with this palette already i did go ahead and grab it um i have not played with mine yet i haven't even swatched it yet or anything i think i just took pictures for instagram of this palette it's two you know two-sided mirrors but yeah i um have not played with this yet i've seen some really really pretty looks i've heard some mixed thoughts and mixed reviews on this palette so maybe that's why i'm not really all that pressed to use it but it's different I'll say that it's different I definitely wanted to grab it to support Nikki and you know just check it out now this palette I kind of even hate mentioning but it is part of my collection now and I do want to use it um but this is the be perfect carnival love tahiti palette collab with stacy marie i was so excited about this palette and me and my girls ordered it on the very first day of the very first launch and all these weeks and weeks went by we didn't get any type of shipping notification nothing did not get it in the mail we saw all of these people getting their palettes all of these people doing videos and everything and we're like where is our palette and we never ever got it and so next thing we know we see on instagram that they're doing a second launch of the palette that we bought the first launch from and we were really pissed then like wait a minute how are you doing a second launch of this palette you know a restock and announcing it and you haven't even sent me a shipping notification for my first purchase from the first launch we were really not happy about that so we had to email them message them hey where's our palettes all of a sudden the next day we get a shipping notification so in my opinion i feel like they pretty much oversold it and we were kind of like you know treated as a pre-order type thing for our orders 
because we didn't get ours shipped to us until after they already did a second restock of this palette so that really pissed me off and i'm just you know whatever i just wanted to put that out there i'm gonna have to get over it because i really want to use this palette <laughs> and i love it but yeah that pissed us off and then my girl dj had her own issues with not even getting her palette so that's a whole nother story I didn't really like my customer service when it came to this palette in particular. And you guys know I love the Carnival palettes from Be Perfect and Stacey Marie. So that just left a nasty taste in my mouth. But this palette is gorgeous though. <laughs> I'm not, it's not, it can't even, I'm not even gonna lie. I can't take away from the fact that it is gorgeous. Okay, I have not used it. Haven't even swatched it. I just been kind of taking my time to process what happened, you know, with my order. But I did finally get it. It is finally here. And it's gorgeous. So y'all let me know if y'all want to see a look. Because if y'all do, I'll go ahead and use it. If not, it'll just be part of my collection. So very, very pretty. I also picked up the mirror <laughs> that came with that palette when I placed my order. I ordered the mirror as well, so I won't blind you guys, but it's really, really cute. Has the same design on it and on the back, same design with the Be Perfect. Super duper cute. And y'all know I really don't complain like that because I understand, you know, brands have delays and stuff like that. But it's like, at least let your customer know. Send them a message, let them know what's going on whatever don't just don't say nothing and then wait until we complain and then all of a sudden oh let me ship you your stuff you know that wasn't cool because it was like over a month okay now i did pick up some single shadows as well y'all know i'm always buying single shadows but i had not tried any single shadows from lethal cosmetics and so i was like i want to try lethal cosmetics but it was just like every time it's hard for me to pick out single shadows because I love all the colors. I want all the colors, okay? And so it's hard for me to just pick out a certain amount of single shadows. So when they showed on their Instagram a nice, beautiful, like, combination of shades, and it was like in a perfect 12-pan palette, I was like... I fell in love with that color story and I was like, I'm just gonna order those shades. So I just put it in one of my ABH empty, <laughs> empty magnetic palettes. But this is the color story that they put on their Instagram not too long ago. So I just wrote down all the shades and was like, that's what I'm gonna order. So since I fell in love with this color story, I thought it would be easy for me to try out their shadows by just using this one that they put together. So very very pretty but yeah these are from lethal cosmetics and yeah i plan on trying these out fairly soon because i really really like these and i want in this nice fall color story you know it's a really really nice for fall so i'm gonna try these out now i picked up some more of these palettes from revolution these are some of their ultimate eye look palettes yeah ultimate eye look palettes and the packaging look at the packaging so super cute the packaging well the color stories really got me as well this is one that i've already shown you guys because this was the first one that i picked up and this one has like the blue color story in it look at the packaging it has like this these rocks on here it's very textured but this is the first one that i showed you guys that i picked up a while ago and I haven't tried it out yet, but what I want to do is because I love these so much, um, I really want to kind of, you know, collect them, to be honest with you. This one has kind of like, what is that, like a zebra print or something on it? And it has like the gray, the dark gray and silver color story in there. Really, really pretty. This one here... Had, oh my gosh look at this same packaging as the blue except it's green and look at this color story you guys but yeah it has like the emerald green colors and oh uh, so pretty oh my gosh i want to swatch it right now but i'm not going to because i want to swatch it for instagram okay <laughs> and then this one what color is this oh the purple so this is what the packaging looks like on this one and these are the shades in this purple one here 
so so pretty so gorgeous so yeah look out for that i'm actually going to try and do that this week do some swatches of these on my instagram and just you know put up a little picture or video or something because they're so so pretty but yeah i look i ain't even gonna front i picked these up because i want to collect them okay so let's move into some other things i think that's enough palettes for now <laughs> Now, I did want to try out a Patrick Ta blush, okay? So this is the packaging. Really pretty, really cute, really sleek. So I ordered this from Sephora so I could try it out. It comes in this really pretty, um, like, rose gold packaging. I don't want to blind you, but it is. It's like the really pretty, shiny rose gold packaging with my fingerprints all over it and what shade did I get she's that girl so this is the shade that I got you guys isn't that pretty oh it's so so pretty yeah so the top one is cream try not to blind you but if you can see that and it has this little protective plastic covering over it so that's cream on the top and powder on the bottom and I just thought this color was so freaking cute. I love like pinky corals or peachy corals. And this just said that to me. So we're going to try out a Patrick Tall blush, y'all. Now, I also picked up some of these Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shines. <laughs> And I totally have to blame these on Kara. Okay, Kara from Beauty and the Frizz used one of these Pat McGrath Lip Shine Lip Balms. And it looked so gorgeous on her. I was like, I have to, have to have it. And I went on, you know, the Sephora website to check it out to see what's popping. And I found them. Look at this. See how pretty that is gorgeous i found them and <laughs> these things ain't cheap okay <laughs> these things are not cheap but honey i just had to have it so this one is electric lotus and so i'm going to show you the color and i'm telling you when you put these on the color it just looks like a beautiful glossy shade of the color you see here so it's not like super sheer and thin like i have one on right now and i've been talking a lot and stuff so it's not as opaque as when i first put it on but baby these things are really opaque and i'm just like these things are worth every single penny <laughs> they are worth every single penny so that's that one what color is this this is boudoir rose and this one looks like this gorgeous gorgeous kind of like a corally pink and this last one that i have here is belle amour which is the one that i have on right now so same beautiful packaging and this one has a bit more of like that fuchsia pink type look but i did put on a lip liner so but you can definitely see how juicy <laughs> and opaque these lip shines are oh my goodness so bomb i do not regret spending 36 dollars each on these okay because i am going to thoroughly enjoy them <laughs> i also picked up a few new foundations so let me just show you guys these foundations that i grabbed um i already used the rare beauty so i did grab this i picked up the shade 480w and i think it works well for me i like this foundation so far i have to use it a few more times to really see how i feel about it but i thought it was going to be like super duper lightweight and thin and not very much coverage and honey this stuff is buildable okay if it had enough coverage for me and you guys know i love full full coverage you know the coverage is right. Also from Rare Beauty, I did pick up the concealer. I tried this in the same video. I think I used these in my Nomad Cartagena video. So if you're curious about my thoughts on the Rare Beauty foundation and concealer, 
I used it in that video for the Nomad Cartagena Magica. So I got the concealer and I also picked up one of the blushes. Yes, yes, in the color Love. This blush shade is so pretty to me. Just, I love it. I think this works so nicely with my skin tone. I don't have it on right now. Right now I have on the Fenty Cream Blush. I always forget the color I have, but it's one of the Fenty Cream Blushes. But this, the Rare Beauty Blush, beautiful. I love it. Now I did pick up the new NARS, what is this? Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I did pick up one of these. I got the shade Macau. Uh, medium deep so you know it's in the frosted bottle so you can't even really see the color or whatnot but it does have like a squeeze dispenser just in case you're curious about that um so that's the color that I got in Macau Macau so yeah it looks a bit light right now but I can work with it. It's not too light that I can't work with it. We gonna make do, okay? And just looking at it on my hand, I like the finish. I really do. I like it already. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm anxious to, um, excited to try that out, actually, I should say. I also picked up this Beauty Creations Foundation. This one is the Flawless Stay Foundation. And I got the shade FS100. And I think I did a pretty good job with this. I like this packaging. Really nice. It kind of reminds me of like the Too Faced with the frosted glass, you know, and the shiny um, top with all my fingerprints on it already. Yeah. FS10.0. And let me show you what this color looks like on me. And this is supposed to be medium to full coverage. So that's what it looks like. Pretty thick. Very thick. <laughs> Very thick. Ooh, chat. She thick and it thick. Okay, so that's what that foundation looks like. Spread out. And yeah, I think that's a pretty decent shade as well. Right now, I have on full face of makeup with all of my bronzer and all that stuff on to match my body. So yeah just looking at that i can tell that's going to be a good a good shade for me and these two items here i'm pretty sure i got them as samples from sephora when i placed my order or i think this you can get with your points so i think i got this for like either 150 or 300 points i'm thinking 300 since it's tatcha but i love these little kits i love getting these because this is the um, kit that has the deep cleanse and the water cream in here. And they're so cute. They last for a little while, you know. When I use this, it lasts me for a little while because I use different types of skincare. And then, oh my gosh, I love this deep cleanse wash. So you get this cute little Tatcha kit. <laughs> and I always grab one, you know, when I have like extra points to put towards that because I ain't gotta buy full price Tatcha stuff. I just buy the little samples and keep using them. So I got that. I also got this sample of the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. Um, I think this was one of the sample options because honey, this mug is teensy tiny. But I've actually been wanting to try this mascara from Fenty Beauty because it gets some really, really rave reviews. And I'm just like, okay, I don't want to pay that much. So when I saw that I could try it out as a sample, I was really, really happy about that. Now, I did get a few things from Ulta. This one, I completely blame on my girl, Lonette, from London Makeup Artistry. If you have not checked out her channel here on YouTube make sure you check her out. I will link her in the cards above. But yeah, <laughs> she was showing her haul items and all that stuff. And I think she got one of these like as a free gift with purchase. I was drooling over this lip set when she showed it. It's the Coco by Kylie, Cos Kylie Cosmetics. I guess it's her collab with her sister, uh, Chloe. And 
I have never purchased any lip products, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners, lip kits, none of that from Kylie. I'm just not, not interested. But when I saw this kit and I saw her showing it and she was drooling over it, <laughs> I was like, you know what? That kit is kind of pretty. Let me go ahead and check it out and see how much it costs. And I think it was on sale for like 13 bucks for the whole set of four. And I was just like, let me scoop that up. Since I've never tried any Kylie lip products at all, I said, let me go ahead and use that. Try it out. So yeah, it's so, so pretty. Look at those colors in there. So cute. So yeah, I'm going to be trying those out. Okay. Now I also picked up from Ulta. I don't know what made me buy this. I guess I just want to try it out. But this is Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive from INV by KISS. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking that I must have seen somebody using it and it intrigued me because that's usually when I buy stuff like this is because I saw somebody using it. When I do wear lashes, I typically use hair glue because they don't move <laughs> when you use hair glue. Um, but I want to try this out and see, you know, if I could find something that works for me that gets that right tackiness and that dries clear. I want to try it out. This here is a full spectrum, what is this, matte ambition. So this is actually a powder foundation, but I wanted to try this out as well. What shade is this? This is deep neutral two, whatever that means. So deep neutral two, and that's the color on that. And typically when I buy these powder foundations, I buy them for setting powders. I don't use powder foundation without any liquid foundation so yeah i definitely purchased this to try it out as a setting powder with a little extra coverage okay so i'm gonna see how this works for me i also picked up another bronzer y'all what is wrong with me i'm like addicted to bronzer okay i will buy bronzer like it ain't nobody's business this one is coffee break from i heart revolution i guess this is new from them and this one is in the shade mocha look at the packaging it looks like a little coffee a little cappuccino or something really cute Ooh, she is rich okay <laughs> nice and rich that's pretty that actually looks like a really really pretty bronzer shade gorgeous okay we'll see we'll see if she's walking up okay now, in my last video, I did show the three Juvia's Place lipsticks that I picked up. These are the three that I decided to choose to try out because I was being good at the time. I didn't pick up the whole collection. I was kicking myself because I'm like, dang, I want the whole collection, but I'm glad I didn't get it because I need to do a lipstick declutter anyway. <laughs> but these are the shades I got. I got Coco. A mauve moment and I got in I don't know is that in vogue or in vouge that does not look like vogue but I'm gonna say in vogue so these are the three shades that I picked up from Ulta I'm not gonna swatch them because I swatched them in my video if you guys are curious then you can check out that same video to see swatches now I also picked up some brushes Ulta had like all of their brushes on sale um, at one point in time and so I grabbed some. This one, what is this? This is their powder brush. So this is it still in the packaging. Let me open it up just in case you're curious. Okay, so it's very soft, very nice, sleek powder brush. It's not super huge or anything, but it is a very, very nice, nice size brush. This one here is a bronzer brush, which is number 21. Okay, so this is the bronzer brush. This is a tapered highlighting brush, which is number 23. And this is what the tapered highlighting brush looks like. Very nice. And this one is the angled foundation brush, which is number 14. And like I said, I bought all of these on sale. So, so this is what the angled foundation brush looks like it's a smaller brush than what I typically use for my foundation but actually I'm not mad at it 
I am not mad at it. I can definitely get in those little crevices with this brush. And it's nice and flat and angled. So, yeah. I actually really like that. And this last brush I got is actually from It Cosmetics. It brushes are always the bomb. And this one is Airbrush Full Coverage Complexion Brush. Number 77. It says Anti-Aging Infused brush hair <laughs> whatever that means it's like what they put in there for anti-aging okay but let's take a look Ooh, very nice okay so this has a different shape to it you see that yeah very cool it's like a triangle or something it's kind of like a heart almost but yeah it's like a triangle that's what it looks like um, I'm really curious to know what it's infused with. I'll have to look it up because just really curious about what is the anti-aging properties that this is infused with, but very cool. I can definitely see myself using this for foundation. So I did grab a few items from e.l.f., one of which came um, pretty bad off. This is one of the face duos. It has like the bronzer shade and then the highlighter shade and... You know, as you can see, the highlighter shade came completely trashed. I did try to repress it, and it's so soft that it actually fell apart again. So I'm probably just going to have to trash this half of it, the highlighting half, and, you know, order another one if I want to take the chance, but I probably won't. I'll probably just grab it if I see it in store somewhere, but at least I can still use the bronzer side. And then I picked up this one, which is pomegranate. And it has the blush and the highlight as well. So at least I do still have a highlight to play with from one of these duos. I guess I was in a blush type of mood when I was shopping because I picked up this Luminous Blush Radiant Peach. So this is a Luminous Blush. Very, very gorgeous peach shade. If you don't already know, <laughs> one of my favorite blush shades is like peachy coral type shades. I used to really love like the mauvey purpley type shades which i still do but the peachy coral shades i think that they really work well on my skin tone this one here is a primer infused shimmer blush called always lucky so yeah i just noticed that they had some newer you know blush shades out and i wanted to try them out so this is always lucky and this one is always cheery and so this one yeah I was definitely in a shimmery blush type of mood that day because <laughs> they're all shimmer blushes and but they're all very pretty shades so I am curious to see how these look on me okay this one here is a cream blush palette this one is bold so it's in their black packaging where you get I believe four different shades yeah so this is the bold cream blush palette so so pretty i don't know i kind of really got into wanting to try out more cream blushes after i kind of got my feet wet with the fenty ones and then playing around with the rare beauty liquid ones i was like you know what let me try out some more cream blushes because i'm kind of feeling them now you know i really am so got that and lastly from elf i picked up this makeup brush cleaning glove which i did not need because i already have a cleaning mat and i also have this little thing that goes on my finger so lord only knows why i bought this because i sure enough didn't need it <laughs> but i try to make uh cleaning my brushes as fun of an experience as possible okay and i thought this was cute so it's for you to use, you know, it has a little handle on here. So, you know, you just put your hand in there when you're cleaning your brushes, you know, you put them, put your soap, scrub a dub dub. These two little areas here, you can use to help clean, you know, you can drag your bristles through there to help remove even more gunk and yuckiness that might be stuck in there. So that's what those are for. So yeah, actually, because at first I was thinking, you know, it was for you to put it in there and just hold it to dry. But yeah, no. It's so you can clean the brush bristle, bristles. 
<laughs> even better with those. So I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't regret buying it. I like it. I think it's cute. <laughs> now these two I ordered from Amazon. Y'all know I like trying out stuff from Amazon also. And because I've been on this like different colored eyeliner kick, I wanted to try out some more, you know, inexpensive eyeliners. So this one here is from, is it Retu? 16 piece matte liquid eyeliners, waterproof and long lasting. So it's just in this little black packaging here. And I'm not gonna take them all out. I'll just show you how they're in here. These are Vivid Brights colored eyeliners. So as you can see, it has all the eyeliners lined in here. So this is one row you know, cause they have them in here backwards. This is one row of colors in there. This dark navy blue right here, yes. And then this green, oh my gosh, so excited. And when I turn the box around, you can see the other colors. So as you can see, they have some beautiful bright shades in here as well. Yellows, blues, pinks, reds, purples, all that good stuff. So yeah, I thought this was like a really nice, kind of collection of colors to play with. So this is what one of them looks like. Now with these, I'm not sure if I'm really going to like the applicator because it's um kind of hard. And I like a more kind of pliable, flexible applicator. As you can see, that's what the color looks like. It looks pretty opaque. But because of the fact that the applicator is only so flexible, you know, like, it's like you can only drag the color for so long before it starts to get wide. So I might have to use my own thin little um, eyeliner brush with these, which I do have one that will fit in here, so I'm not worried about that. I'm more so worried about whether or not the color is opaque, and it definitely is, so I'm excited about these. I don't remember how much I paid for these, um, but considering the fact that there are 16 of them in here, it might have been like 25 bucks or something, I don't know, but this is the brand, just in case you're curious and wanna try them out yourself. And I also picked up this one here. This one is Angel Wings Liquid eyeliner set so this is what this one looks like so slightly different some lighter colors in here and i believe these are metallic how many do you get in here 12. so this is what these look like and yeah this one has a more like pliable brush so it's not as hard it's more flexible um, so, you know, you can definitely, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I definitely have more flexibility using this brush because it's not hard. Look at that color. I can see the metallicness in there. It's really pretty. So, yeah, I'm excited about these eyeliners, y'all. Um, you know, you guys, of course, will be able to see me try them out in looks here and there whenever I decide to use them. But yeah, I'm really hoping that they work out because I love playing around with different colors of eyeliners. Okay, so lastly, I have a few items that I picked up from the Boxy add-on, I think. I don't think it was the Boxy pop-up. I think it's the Boxy add-on to where you can, you know, once you make your selections or whatever, for your BoxyCharm box that you can go in and place an order for different add-on items that are in the boxes that maybe you didn't get or you're not getting or you want to get and da 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 extremely discounted pricing so when I say Boxy add-on or Boxy pop-up that's what I'm talking about my BoxyCharm monthly subscription these are add-on items that you could purchase from the Boxy store you know and I don't typically, well, sometimes I do, but for the most part, lately I haven't been purchasing too many makeup items because they've been having like a lot of like bath items and skincare and like lotions and shower gels and stuff that I've really been <laughs> wanting to try. So, but this item here I did pick up. This is a tomato serum from, is it by, by Ro? By Ro? Honey, I don't know. 
that's the name <laughs> and this is the tomato serum it was actually in the box i didn't get it my girl lily got it and she was like oh my goodness kk you gotta try it out so i went ahead and picked that up from the add-on because she said she loves it so i want to try it as well it's really pretty though isn't it and they also had in here the fenty beauty pro filter amplifying eye primer so you know I was like, okay, I haven't tried that. And I really don't know if I've seen anybody using it or trying it out. I'm sure I have, but just didn't really pay attention <laughs> to their thoughts. So this is what it looks like, the eyeshadow primer. Um, let me see here. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be like super duper opaque, but it does create a nice base for what I would, you know, say would be good for an eyeshadow primer so yeah i'm definitely going to check this out because yeah it looks promising for sure and the only other makeup type item i bought was this makeup forever it's like a blush and highlighter duo artist face color comes in this box here and this is what it looks like i won't open it up but it's just a blush and highlighter duo duo that they had in there and I really don't try makeup forever products I don't buy them I don't think I have any really so I said let me go ahead and check that out okay now these last few items are all just like bath and body items I did get one of these in my actual boxy Lux, I believe or boxy premium one of them this is the daily concepts um, daily detox massaging brush and I've been using this in the shower and it, oh my gosh, it feels so good. And after I use it, it makes my skin just feel so soft. It removes all of that dead, dry skin and everything. It's really nice. It's like a, a rough scrubbing type brush with these little massaging balls in there. I love it. I could never use this just dry, <laughs> you know, on my skin. I don't know if people do that, but yeah, I can never just use it dry you know but with shower gel in the shower oh it feels so good and on my back scrubbing my back i love it so i picked up another one of those i also grabbed these daily concepts exfoliating dual texture scrubbers these are mild and it came in a pack of five i believe is in here and you know it's just your daily exfoliating scrubbers you can use it on your body your face your feet just wherever so i'm always using different type of exfoliators whether they be you know like this and pads or the chemical ones i love you know getting that dead skin and just bringing out the new fresh skin to the forefront <laughs> so i got those i also tried out a couple more i know in my last uh bo boxy add-on i grabbed some of the nest shower gels and this one is coconut mist uh, and coconut water body wash. So that's what that one looks like. The first one that I got, I don't remember the scent, but I love it. I really do. This one is bamboo and jasmine. So I got two more of these because I love them so much. And I assume that maybe because they're in the boxy add up or boxy pop on that they're going to be discontinued. <laughs> so I need to try and stock up actually. And this is a lotion. This is a body lotion. I got the grapefruit and verbena. Grapefruit and verbena. And I wasn't sure on the smell for this, but I just took a chance. Ooh, it actually smells really nice. Cause I was like grapefruit mm, I don't know no yes I like it thank you Jesus <laughs> but yeah I grabbed that as well I mean that's one thing that's good about the boxy pop-up is you can pick up some really nice stuff for a very very discounted rate this one here is the nest bamboo and jasmine hand cream I love hand creams I really like to keep hand creams in my beauty room because you know you get to getting on a camera and stuff and you're like dang i'm ashy you know i like to have a a hand cream nearby okay this is nice nice little tube nice size tube as well it probably has a safety seal but let me see nope it doesn't let me see I put, oh that came squirting out really fast 
but it's thick though. That's what it looks like. So I just put it on this hand since I have all kind of liners and stuff on this one. Oh, that's nice. It's very, very soft. Very soft. It smells like a nice, gently scented hand cream. I like that. It feels good. It's not as super duper thick and creamy like some hand creams I like, but sometimes they could be too thick and creamy. So this one is actually nice, honey. As long as it get rid of that ash, I'm happy. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. So I'm just checking out these liners and this eyeshadow primer. And honey, this stuff is not moving. Okay. So I have high hopes for that eyeliner and that primer because, honey, it is on there. It's not moving. And lastly, you guys, I got this Cuccio Somatology Yoga Calm and Clean Epsom Salt Hand and Body Wash. <laughs> if that is not a title for all titles, I don't know what it is. Okay, so that is what that is. This is a hand and body wash. And I was just curious, wanted to try it out. I was like a hand and body wash. Hmm. Mm. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. <laughs> it might be because it's the Epsom salts. It doesn't stink, but it's not anything that you would smell. And you'd be like, ooh, that smells good. It smells like therapeutic I guess not anything that smells good per se doesn't stink but it just kind of smells it has that like healing therapeutic type smell to it <laughs> so it's all good I probably just use it as a hand wash anyway so that's it you guys that is my whole September collective haul thus far everything that I've got in the mail I guess because honey I still got some stuff coming but it's just gonna have to wait so yeah I'm excited to start diving into these products trying them out using them and you know putting them away okay so that's it let me know down below your thoughts on these products if you have some of this stuff if you are now thinking about getting some of this stuff let your girl know okay and i just want to take this time to say thank you so much for all your support all your love coming back to watch my videos and hang out with me and you know just share in my love for makeup and quite frankly my addiction okay <laughs> so thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like and i will see you on my next video toodles